Okay, everyone, I've been messing around with this thing some more. Yeah, I got a rat's nest there, huh? <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, I was using this. Sorry, guys, you're fogging up. And that's on the inside. Maybe not. And I was hooking into that vacuum line there, and I would put some fuel in there and start it up. And it would start right up until it ran a fuel out. I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. But it was... It would fire, but it wouldn't run. You know, like it was firing on one cylinder. So, anyway... It's just going to be a quick update of this thing. Yeah, she was uh, chooching a little smoke earlier, but yeah, it, uh, but I had some oil and gas mix in there, so that way, because you know it's been sitting for 10 years. Barely smoking now, so I think that's what that was. Plus, it'd been sitting for 10 years. So, brakes are fine. Oh yeah, I figure it'll quit smoking completely. there's an update for you I'm going to um, I'm gonna let it run a little bit get some uh, get some heat in it you know let it get warmer and warmer and warmer so that way the head gaskets and stuff come back around I don't want to just you know jump in it right now and take it up and down the road 80 miles an hour but I will test drive it here after a bit I got a lot of stuff to do in here yet and um, well mostly out here get this stuff hooked up the way it should be and uh, I'll show you what was going on it was this wire right here that's what that's what was going on that wire right there so just wasn't going where it was supposed to go all right Sometimes this key sticks. This does have an alarm system on it, but maybe if I can spray it down or something. But anyway, so let me get um, let me get this stuff buttoned up, and we'll uh, we'll take it up the road or down to the gas station, and uh, maybe put a little gas in it. I got I put fresh gas in it um, I put about a gallon maybe two in it and then uh, we'll see how it's gonna see if it shifts and everything and then make sure there's no leaks and stuff it's starting to get a little heat in it does have water in it I tasted it. it's got a little bit of antifreeze in it too and the air compressor does kick on the AC compressor the air conditioner compressor does kick on so I'm figuring I could probably just charge that and uh, it'll probably have air if it kicks on that means there's enough in it to make the switch kick it on so all right, guys, I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, guys, we're heading down to the gas station. 
We're in the Nissan. Right, Mom? All right. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. I just didn't go back far enough. That's why. Shifted. in here and then I'll be back with you okay I just put 20 bucks in which didn't quite give me five gallons but still on E and the fuel light is still on so probably the, the gauge in the tank shift because it's shifting in the second well, you don't have to speed just drive normal I want to see if did it shift just now it shifted yes I felt it okay you felt it the first time you feel it the second time okay because you know there's more than one gear pretty decent for having low tires. There's no rattles. No. So I'll have to get the gas gauge fixed next, but I think we're ready for some tags. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Okay. I guess, I guess so. If you want tags, we'll get tags. Yeah, we need to get tags so we can... Because what I want to do, guys, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I want to drive this around till the Toyota's fixed. So we'll have a second car. Just go around here. Watch the brakes. I know. I said watch them because you're throwing me through the windshield here. They're hard. They're not hard. They're harder than what I'm used. Temperature gauge is staying where it should be. Yeah, I think we need to get some plates for this thing and run it. Might need some trading fluid. Get it up to 30. just needs a little fluid that's been sent for 10 years I just started up a few hours ago and we're driving it down the road yeah I've got three hundred and seventy dollars in this thing monkey thinks I should count the hundred dollar tow but I can't throw that on to somebody else that was my decision to get it home that way right yes. yeah so I don't count that guys Steer all right, handle okay? A little 
stiff, but no, it's fine. A little I stiff. Can well, I'm used to the other car. Okay, yet. but going down the road, it's not pulling real bad. No, I don't feel no pulling at all. Okay. Not on either not. side. It's not pulling this way. It's not pulling that way. No, it's not doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, after our trip, mm -hmm. I'm going to take the battery out of the boat and put it in here, and mm -hmm. we're going to put a new battery in the boat. Okay. So the boat will have a brand new battery. That's and then I'll take the battery out of the boat and put it in here. Mm -hmm. And the one that's in here right now we'll take back as a return. Okay. All right? Yep, that's fine. All right, shut it off. Now I'll see if it'll start. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I checked the alternator, it's putting out, <laughs> thank you, it's putting out 14.5 volts. So 14 and a half volts. Oh look, all the lights went off. Even the gas light went on. <laughs> well, I'll have to do some work with that. Yeah. That float in the tank, but you know, I mean. <laughs> all four speakers work. Yeah. Better than our car. <laughs> Man, this is cool. We'll clean it up real good and get rid of this mess. I think it's going to be a very nice car for someone. It's quiet. Yes, it is. It's quiet. All right. Well, what do you think, Monk? Yep. You did good. Thank you. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth the Man Legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Like, sit out. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys.